Hi friends, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window. And forgive me, last minute little switch. I know, you're seeing my brand new sweatshirt and I'm a little late because guess what? There may be some spills happened this morning, but I'm here, I'm excited. And you know what? When it spills, you just wipe it up and pull yourself together and keep on going. And that's what I'm planning to do it today with you guys. Keep on going and something fun arrive at Laundry Basket Quilts and it gives me so much joy. Yes, joy, the joy collection. It brings me so much joy to show you those brand new fabrics and show you all the new goodies and see if we can quilt together. I'm super excited for you guys. So, and in case you wanna have a little sweatshirt, we do have them on our website. They're really, really cute. We have t-shirts and sweatshirts, and I hope you're gonna be so inspired today after you watch all these beautiful goodies. So, on Wednesday, we had an incredible quilting corner, and at the quilting corner, I showed you guys how to cut panels, because in our brand new collection, Joy, we have a beautiful fabric that is a panel, and you can cut those panels into blocks, in, uh, into rows and enjoy them into borders and enjoy those panels in your beautiful quilt. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it today, but if you wanted to learn how to fussy cut out of a panel, watch our Wednesday Quilting Corner. It was such a good show. And speaking of Quilting Corner, last time when I saw you guys, I asked you a question, how many tulips I had in a bouquet at the quilting corner and we had a beautiful answers and I have there were 10 tulips and Linda Rocco answered correctly and she's the winner of our beautiful low clover uh, hand pin right there so super super excited I just noticed my phone is right here on the table and I forgot to put it on silent so I'm doing it right now I'm so sorry I do you see it's a live show wow today I tell you, the life is dishing out all those things and I keep coming to you guys and keep doing stuff with you. So don't ever give up. Even if you have a little obstacles on your way, you need to keep pushing forward, pull yourself together and keep going. No matter if you spill, if your phone rings, just focus and find 15 minutes of quilting and I tell you what my 15 minutes of quilting always turns into two hours of fun 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 but back into the joy collection um, there's so many beautiful fabrics in the collection and we have delightful patterns I'm gonna be showing them to you and we also today celebrating finishing our common bright quilt alone yes our common bright quilt this quilt right here we did eight weeks of quilt alone and last uh this past monday it was our last uh, uh week where we finished those final borders from those little tiny patches so excited about it i hope many of you are working on your quilt and finishing up please make sure keep posting pictures i'm going to give you guys two more weeks to post pictures and then we're going to go into instagram and choose winner from those pictures for anybody that joined us in made blogs keep posting them we're going to be looking through those and choose a nice winner and somebody's going to win a hot bedding yes so you have a beautiful bedding for your beautiful quilt and in case you did not get involved but you do want to the videos are on our youtube channel and we do have just few left kits we have the common bright quilt uh, kits so if you wanted to join us in this kit is so beautiful it comes in two bags because there is so much gorgeous fabrics and if you want more we do have it on our website so go ahead to our website grab a kid turn those videos on go to our blogs see all the pictures that we added there and keep going and maybe you want to be part of our common bright quilt along um, I love fresh fabrics and I love inspiration and many times when I get a brand new collection of fabric 
I have marked my books that I love it and one of the books that I absolutely love is Patches of Stars. In Patches of Stars I have included antique quilts but also incredible selection of patterns, 17 my best star patterns. It's a great book and guess what? This week that book is on special so if you want a star pattern for Joy Collection getting the book may be a good idea. So that's something that I like to do. Other book that I thought would be fun for our Joy Collection is the So In Love book. I know you see red, but just crinkle your eyes and add a little green to this medallion quilt would be stunning. So So In Love, I think this is the one that I'm gonna recolor and show it on Instagram for you guys because I think it will be so beautiful. And what it's nice about this So In Love book, it has all these beautiful, beautiful blocks, but it has two options for the quilt. I'm trying to open that page. Right here you have piece version for the quilt and applique. So there's all these gorgeous blocks and you can choose from them if you wanna do a piece version or the applique one. So in love may be very, very special and in green and red would be lovely and yes, this is Michael's grandma. She's the one that taught me how to quilt. Her name was Anna. Do you remember the story I told you when I first uh, moved to Pennsylvania and we got to live with grandma and I came to her house. She looked at me with not much hope in her eyes and uh, next thing I was quilting next to her. She taught me how to quilt and just uh, and first I learned how to hand quilt before I made the quilt top because she wanted to ensure that I finish my own quilts. Another fun thing that I loved doing with grandma when I lived with her was little embroidery, not much. And I'm getting back to that right now. I love embroidery. And today, in fact, I'm gonna be working on a brand new project I'm gonna be posting on Instagram. But if you wanna do something delicate and small, Kathy Schmidt's Simple Sweet, Simply Sweet, a book has 64 little circles with tiny little embroideries, so delicate. If you do not want to make it this small, you can always size it up or down. I love her designs. I think they are so charming, so cute. Everything is included in that book and you can go ahead, trace them into the fabric and start embroidering them. I'm gonna uh, play with some of those in next few weeks. I want to show you what I'm gonna do with it. They're so adorable. So I uh, hardly recommend if you want this book we do have it on our website. So those are just few things to get you in so inspired. Do you see my sweatshirt comes handy today? Was a good idea to put it on. So let me get you inspired with this gorgeous Joy Collection that it's right front of me. It is so beautiful. We got so many nice uh, questions about it since Wednesday, since I showed it first time. And one of the questions that we got it, does this collection mix and match and goes well with our Noel fabric all our green tam fabric and I have both of the bundles and the answer is yes I brought it onto the table because once I clean up the pattern front of me I want to pull this fabric and show you the whole array of colors are you excited just like me and please pay attention I hope you remember how many books I just showed you because that's maybe one of the questions that I'm going to be asking today and then you win door prizes as usual and we have some cool door prizes. We have two new cuts in a bundle, our four and a half by width of fabric bundle. This is a uh, eight of a yard cut. You are familiar with fat eights like this that's nine inches by 21 inches but i want to do a bundle that it's a long width so we did the four and a half regular uh, eight of a cut by width of fabric so some of those bundles gonna be our door prices but oh, i'm so excited about this fabric i can't keep focus on what i show supposed to show you next and next i want to show you the patterns that we have so 
right here they're just some of our green and red patterns that could be great with this collection i'm going to mention the ones that are exclusive with joy so that way you know exactly which one to get but um mistletoe one of my favorites and i chose that one today to show you again i showed it on a live show on wednesday but i forgot to tell you guys about it now notice if you ever wanted to make this quilt but you were not sure if you can piece all those cute little blocks guess what you can go ahead and cut them and piece them into that pattern so you could fussy cut it and do it and if you wanted to you can cut it uh, the regular way this way and have the blocks a little bit different design or go ahead and cut it this way and include it into your design and more about cutting at that live show on wednesday so i'm not going to spend a lot of time today but i showed you guys how to fussy cut out of the panel how big you can get the small from smallest to the largest so notice you can cut it as small as this so that way when you piece it you don't sacrifice any points or as big as this one right here so watch that show on wednesday for more details about cutting but back to miss Soto what a wonderful quilt you piece the center beautiful applique and then if you run out of steam fussy cut and you can add a little baskets too if you wanted to around this quilt amaryllis is another one that i made it with noel fabric but i think it's an excellent candidate for fat quarter bundle from our joy collection look how beautiful this quilt is and i have Put the quilt right next to our fabric so from joy so look at noel and joy just to show you how gorgeous it is because if you have bought this kit but want now a basket or star border around yes for sure you can grab that new panel and put that around that quilt another super cool pattern that we have it with joy collection is the supernova supernova is just beautiful and it's uh, traditional piecing there is no fussy cutting in that one and it is uh, has a little bit more pieces it's not more difficult it just has more pieces there are some Y seams but the pattern explains it so nice and I've done this with you guys when we did our quilt alone for our uh, patches of blue do you remember we did a patches of blue quilt alone and i did this block with you so visiting our website for the patches of blue learning how to do the block getting your bundle air kit and then you are set on success joyous star is another brand new pattern this one does use it uh, the fussy cut panel inside the stars i think that one is going to be one of your personal favorites and then finishing with joy around the world this one very fun we're gonna have a pre-cut kit for this one uh the strips gonna be pre-cut you sew your strips then you cut it and then you have the four sides of the quilt you just shift the colors really nice super fun so easy to make i'm excited about this one because with piecing the center adding the extra blocks on the outside just like i did it the extra panels right here through the middle you can make a quilt really quickly and i know we have time for some quilts like common bride that takes us a little bit longer but if we want a quick fun quilt with a good result doing some piecing and mixing the panels into it is delightful i love uh, seeing that in a quilt i'm not a big fan just of a just the panel but guess what that's just my personal preference but everybody have to find what they love and what i love about quilting we have so many nice options but i am a huge fan of piecing and panel together because you can really elevate the simple design of just straight bars what it's a very traditional pennsylvania design by adding this uh, pre-printed panel right here so that's on that one and speaking of having the fabrics we do have a Christmas Creek uh, kit it's, it's so beautifully packed if you wanted to I was uh, um, so excited about the way how we package because all that you need to do is 
put a ribbon on it and gift it to somebody and it's such a nice result so if you wanted to get those kits they are on our website so much fun another fun kit that we have is our virginia star joy so our virginia star quilt has been one of your favorites we have it in mini we have it in this medium size i call it and then we have it in a jelly roll size i am going to do later on the jelly roll too just to show you how the colors flowed because it's going to be a little bit more scrappy this one is very organized and i have the quilt top ready thanks to one of my friends we are getting some samples made yes oh i'm so excited for this one look at this isn't it beautiful just gorgeous i can wait to start quilting this one but i'm going back and forth if i'm going because i already have three of those quilts and i thought to myself why not add stars of baskets around this one do you see how quickly you can change this look look at this just adding maybe a little inner border too and add a little row of baskets or stars so enjoy i hope you love those pre-printed panels and all our beautiful beautiful kids um, enjoy i'm putting this one back on the table because it's just so lovely and if you need threads we have two beautiful boxes christmas collection from orophil or we have also the wonderful threads i think both of them would be perfect with our collections with this new joy collection so something to think about it and get excited about it oh this kid and what a nice gift you know because it's packaged so nice you can just get a little red ribbon to it and you have a beautiful beautiful quilt and i know you guys are gonna be like what christmas quilts no it's not christmas quilts it's holiday quilts and it's never too early to start on your holiday projects because then you can when time comes for the holidays you can decorate your home so nice and you can focus on just having your family over cooking amazing meal trying that new recipe and showing off your beautiful projects and not worry about that you are last minute stitching so i like to start nice and early and then i'm all on time ready said not every time i get to do that but at least i try okay so now um let's talk about this panel fabric i'm holding my uh so daisy uh, fabric markers because i love those those are great for the books you can mark your pages and those are wonderful for our fabrics when you cutting and piecing and you have to mark your project so those are super super cool if you want it those are on our website and we're gonna have a little special this weekend on our so daisy and our fabric markers so if you wanted to get excited about it and i have my so daisy hiding someplace here they were close to me and i played with them and now i don't know where i put them but no less this is the panel fabric look at this isn't that beautiful and i placed the design uh, uh, straight down not salvage edge to salvage edge i alternate baskets and stars baskets and stars i did this because i want a long panels because i thought this would be great for a bar quilt like this but also if i want a stars to go around my quilt i can do that if i want my basket they can be standing on a left and a right notice in my pattern joy i have the baskets on the sides and the stars on the top and the bottom so so nice and i left plenty of room between so if you have to match shift if something is off it's easy to absorb into the seams and it's easy to adjust your borders and so when you are cutting you can uh, uh, listen if you want to you can cut this way you can cut this way but then you have to piece it and then your basket alternate with your stars but it's just gorgeous too but if you wanted to you can cut this way and always have just stars or just basket so 
laying the fabrics this way give you an amazing amazing option we do have the yardage on our website it's selling out guys we did place a second order yesterday so if it's sold out do not get upset we will have moa okay but it is just wonderful i never expected that you guys gonna love this fabric so 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 much i do it but i never expected you guys gonna love it it's very traditional very soft and it does go so well with our previous collections i can't wait to show you that so look at this this is our brand new joy fabric isn't that beautiful look at all these gorgeous pieces i especially love those big prints look at this we have three of them right there isn't that beautiful so you can either have green borders light borders or accent fabric or this stunning red one and it's so beautiful i chose garden of roses for my holiday fabrics i just love red roses i think they're gonna be beautiful in a quilt and it's just so so yummy i oh so excited now this was our jo uh, this was our noel collection i brought it just to show you look at the reds you can mix it up really nice lights of course greens oh please because in this collection i use olive green and true green this is gonna mix and match really nice and add to it look i'm gonna pull this piece and just put it over look at this it picks all these fun colors so easy to mix and match with other collection now our customers have been asking how the green tom mixes with our beautiful fabric now look at this you want moa green this definitely would work quite nice isn't that stunning oh so if you have purchased a small bundle get another small bundle combine them and make a beautiful big quilt isn't that something or maybe you have collected for days now our little small rolls and you want to see how those rolls are mixing and matching with our joy collection just perfectly fine you need a little extra pinks i got you look at our pinks how nice they mix and match so this is the whole idea for my fabrics i always pay attention to my hues the dyes and i stay true to my colors i do sometimes go out of the box creating a children collection that one was one of my favorites but on 99% I stay in this very traditional color sham with beautiful rich incredible colors and if I could I would show you my next collection but I'm not allowed yet but guys you are going to love me I know it look at this if you need just few extra greens what about getting this little small bundle this is all different fabrics there is joy in it there is a green ton in it there is uh all this uh, i mean no joy noel noel uh green tom what else i see a uh, seamstress so this is a nice mix and match sewing basket is in it nice mix and match of all different greens if you want to just delicate touch so those are the new fabrics and we are just so excited to present them to you from fat aids to regular aids 33 incredible pieces yes and if you wanted to we have fat quarters we have gorgeous half yards for you guys and if you love fat quarters you're gonna love our new cut new roll this is regular quarter this quarter is nine inches by the width of fabric so it's a long quarters just regular cut not a fat quarter and i thought they are gonna be perfect for any kind of lock cabin strips so this is what i focus on those this time and want to add this gorgeous cuts to our array of pre-cuts you could take this and start piecing together and make a quilt or if you want it you can take this row cut it to four and a half inch squares because this is four and a half four and a half inch squares 
collage gorgeous trip around the world and you have a quilt so i think those are gonna come very handy for you guys and we cutting them with a straight cutter so the edges are really nice and straight and they're really really nice so our girls do such a good job on prepping the fabrics and cutting the fabrics i'm very very thankful um, now i always look for extra lights and if i were to choose blushing lights would have been the ones i would choose to add to my fabrics because the blushing lights have those beautiful low touches of red and i think they would work really nice if you want extra low lights all right isn't it exciting i hope you're remembering how many pieces i had in the collection now on the table i have prepped a little project this is our feather star because i thought if you just want a, a tiny little taste and you want something super special you can go ahead and get a smaller bundle and we do going to have kits for the feather star uh, pillows with green and red so it's more christmas uh, um, ready i'm super super excited about those in the back of me, like I told you guys, this is the mistletoe quilt. Behind me, the Christmas Creek, our uh, Amaryllis quilt. And I know, holiday collection, I have a little surprise for you guys. A little free pattern. Go to our website. Erin have put a link under our video so that we can just click on this link. And yes, you can go ahead and get this free pattern from our website. So something for you guys to enjoy it now i hope your basket is gonna be as full as my basket look at this cute little basket we got some brand new notions do you want to see them yes this one is not brand new but i'm holding in my hand because i don't want to forget i'm really excited about some embroidered project that i'm working on it guys you're gonna really like that one okay and what I love is this little button. It's a magnetic little button that I can put my needle on and uh, it stays there so I don't lose my needle. And it's so small and so nice, super cute. I really, really like it. Now, new notions. We got some new books, some new notions. I have to show you all of them. And yes, guess what? I found my so daisies. <laughs> they were sitting right here in a basket with the new notions. So Daisy, they're not brand new notion, but they're our best sellers. And this weekend, we're gonna have a little special on the fabric markers and So Daisy. So if you wanna stack on them, they're so much fun. What you do is you put your needles inside the orofil thread and you can put a So Daisy on a top and a bottom and easily close it and it creates a little traveling case. And I'm gonna be traveling on Sunday can I share with you where I'm going? Would you like to know? I'm going to New York to see Christian Dior show. Isn't that incredible? Thanks to my daughter Anna, she's taking me as her plus one. I get to see all the beautiful models, everybody walking in beautiful outfits. I'm super excited. I just have to figure it out. Do I wear, uh, am I gonna be wearing my So Inspire sweatshirt or do I need to get something a little bit different for that occasion? But yes, I will get a nice dress. Don't even ask me. Yes, I will, I will make sure I look uh, nice and fit for the occasion. Back into our little uh, notions. I'm so excited for you guys. We just got those little cuties. Those are for bobbins. You put your bobbins in it and you can storage them. I really, really like them. They call them bobbin boat. And we got them in those really cute colors. I always, you know, bobbin here, bobbin there, here. It gets a little bit more organized. And this is what I'm working on it, getting a little bit more organized and in line so that way i have everything that i need now another thing that we just got is this um, hot ham i love this when i was a young girl i used to use a cardboard when i was hemming my drapes or pants or anything else if i need a nice low line but here look at this you have all the measurements you just roll it around it and press it it's from clover and it's perfect if you pressing your binding to go around your quilt really fun i love that now we got three cute new books 
let me show you those are very fun to just have it when you're traveling or you just need a quick advice how i do it so of course embroidered stitches right on the top because i'm getting into embroidered stitches again so i'm gonna be definitely putting that one in my travel bag for the weekend i maybe even show my anna how to embroider a little bit she has no choice i'm gonna expose her immediately to it but the embroidered stitch is so fun there's so many cute designs and all that is shows you the stitch and shows you how to do it i think that is so nice because it gives you the base to be creative and do some fun stuff now um Quilting with pre-cuts, I thought you guys love that because having all these beautiful pre-cuts like layer cake, charm bag, uh, um, jelly rolls, this is a, such a fun handy book that gives you fun quick ideas for blocks with pre-cuts. Look at this. Isn't it adorable? I think everybody should have one of those and it shows you, this is what I love, shows you cutting how many pieces you can get from fat quarter, how many pieces you get from uh, 10 inch squares. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna get this for sure too because you know when I design new patterns I sometimes wonder, oh do I get all of this out of it? Look at this, just something as easy as half a half square triangle or quarter square triangle and again how many squares how many halves and quarter square triangles from charm packs this is a really cool tool so go to our website we have them on our website if we sell out be patient we will restock immediately we have another order coming in of those and then my last one that i think you are going to love it is for any beginner or advanced, if you want to refresh your skills, and I tell you what, even that you consider yourself advanced quilter, you should always learn new things and refresh, refresh, refresh. It's easy to forget. So this one, it talks about a paper piecing. So I think you guys would really, really like it. It's just a simple guide how to do a little paper piecing. And there are some fun blocks like this suitcase that could be a cute little practice. And yes, I will be packing my suitcases this weekend. So for you guys, I think this would be fun three little books. This one, I wanted this book for so long. This is Creative Stitches by Sue Spargo. She is a goddess in embroidery. Who better to learn from than Sue? So if you wanted to learn with me, grab one of her books, Sue Spargo, Creative Stitches. I love this one. I have mine already and I already opened mine. This one is all taped up because it's just for you guys for the show, but oh, it is so much fun. I already am into the Sue Spargo stitches. Now, when you need to thread your needle, you're gonna need a nice needle threader and we just got those. And this is especially for fine needles. So nice and super simple and easy. I like this one. And we got the new pins with little hearts on it in green. I thought you guys would like them today. Another thing that I have it in my basket, everybody needs one of those so please go to the website get one of those you need a brush to clean your sewing machine and this one is coming with me because i need one for every machine one at home one here and if you have multiple machines you need one next to you it makes such a difference to quickly clean up and make sure that your machine is just running smooth zooming away instead of cluck 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 that's what it is it's all the dust and all that felt that it's in your bobbin so you can easily clean it up our fun little pencils and i'm gonna be trying those to see how they work to draw my embroidery uh, and then stitch over what i like about it is those are from clover uh, the chalk pencil and there is a little brush in the end that if I make a mistake I can rub it off really quickly so I can draw some fun things maybe freehand uh, things uh, I'm not planning to use this at all in my sewing journey this is a seam ripper um, but just in case I will have it in my um, sewing basket now I'm just making a joke I love to have a nice fun seam ripper and this one has this cute little uh, brown handle and a nice cover for the top 
I thought it would be fun for you guys and me to have a, a new one now those are also fine uh, pencils that we just got in I think they're gonna be super fun if I have to draw or write or sign something so I'm planning to practice with those and see how exciting they are but I saved it for last yes I need it you know when you travel and you don't have your light with you or you just got on a porch or this new room and the sunset is happening and you can't see it all the way having this fun light I think this is gonna change my embroidered stitches and elevate them because I'm gonna be able to see it really really nice with this beautiful light and you just hang it on your neck and the lights up right in front of you your project and you can stitch if you're working on binding if you're working on embroidery if you're working on English paper piecing and having a fun low light it sure will be helpful so those are the fun little things that I brought today for you guys and let's not forget we're not done yet you're gonna get to ask questions and I have a question for you question number one and somebody is gonna win a beautiful roll from our uh, joy collection my question for you guys is um, how many pieces of fabric we have in this brand new collection i hope you pay attention no i'm not gonna ask you that i showed you three book this was just an example okay yes i know you paid attention to the number three but how many beautiful fabrics we have in this gorgeous collection we're gonna give away this lovely bundle and i'm gonna give away let me see oh yes a brush because all of you guys need one this is gonna come really nice and handy nice little brush so first question somebody's gonna get this our second question and yes I have another question for you is going to be uh, just uh, the brush for the second one do we have answers already we do the answers are so many I people paying attention and you know I was paying attention too I actually wrote down the answers to the books just in uh -huh. case I needed to know it <laughs> I love that Aaron is paying attention I love that um, but our winner for um, how many fabrics are in the joy Bun uh, collection okay. the answer is 33 and our winner is Christina Baker congratulations Christina you just won yourself our brand new cut of a bundle it's our uh, eight of a yard cut we're gonna need a name for this one uh, it is uh, right now we have it named joy eight yard bundle uh, but maybe the, we need to come up with a cute name guys you need to help me think about it and next live show let's come up at a really cute name you know how there is a jelly roll there is uh, layer cakes charm packs and all of this we need a little like a you know we had a a similar bundle that we call souffle because it's nice and big so maybe we stick with a souffle or we come up with a new name that you guys uh, have ideas about it congratulations please remember send us your email so we can send you the bundle Christina thank you so much for answering now um, I have a second question for you guys and I'm not gonna show you this but how many threads is in this cute Noel festive uh, uh, Carol Noel little thread set from wonderful how many threads I know they're so cute how many threads and you can guess it I have to count <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you guys uh, would like that like that and you know what with the brush I will give you a thread when you answer correctly so you're gonna get a really nice big gift and now you have threads and you can enjoy your joy joy of fabrics do we have any uh, question for me today we do um, where did I get this cute sweatshirt actually yes <laughs> yes so this cute sweatshirt is available on our website you can go ahead and just visit laundrybasketquilts.com and we also have t-shirts we have them in multiple sizes so go visit our website get a little t-shirt get a little sweatshirt and you're gonna be so inspired for the summer the t-shirts are so cute they're white with this beautiful printing on it I really really like them and I hope you will enjoy them too we're gonna have more sweatshirts and t-shirts coming up shortly for the summer we are gearing up for a new launch for our 
uh, new kitchen towels and some other cute items. I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but we have some fun stuff in work. And you know, Mother's Day is coming around, so you can hint it to your loved ones and say, hey, this year for Mother's Day, don't get me flowers. I want this cute little sweatshirt. So, uh, oh, one of those cute kitchen towels that we have on our website. But yes, we do have them. Do we have any other questions? Um, we do. Um, first question was um, Cindy, and I think she's going to be participating in our 4th of July contest. I love that. And she was wondering, can she um, submit more than one project? That's excellent question. Cindy first, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely, you can submit as many projects as you want. We have no limit on it. And the more projects you submit, the more chances you have to win. So go ahead and do it. Have some fun with it. Remember, you need that panel fabric. Uh, we have them as a half yard cuts, either in blue, in red. There, you have more chances to win if you have a finished project. But if you just want to submit it to show it to us, you never know. And if you run out of time and your project is fabulous and you want to show it to us, you never know. We will have some viewers choice. We have our staff choice. We have my choice. We're going to have uh, some incredible, incredible prizes. I'm going to look over all the quilts. We're going to have first, second, third place. And there are some really cool prizes. And we have a lot of fun companies that are coming behind this and sponsoring some of the prizes. So, oh, I cannot wait for you guys to see what uh, the event on 4th of July. The uh, closing for our um, submission is 1st of July. So just remember that. Start working on it and send it over. Perfect. And then, um, are you okay if we pick a winner this time from yes. Facebook? Yes, I yes. love that. Perfect. Okay. okay, the winner from Facebook, the answer, by the way, was eight. And I love that. It's Janet Swiggin. Janet, congratulations. You just won a cute little brush to clean your sewing machine or just have it as a gift from me. And you did win a set of threads and you are right. There are beautiful eight spools in it and I'm so happy for you to be able to enjoy them and win them. Oh, guys, so much fun. Do we have any other questions for me? Yes, a great question came in from Sherry. She loved that you were talking about um, the Fussy. mistletoe. Yes. And she was like... wondering what would be the best way about figuring out how much panel fabric she would need if she wanted to get um, that. So we, I would, I don't want to just give you a number. I didn't count and looked how many, and it's going to be depends on, do you want to mix and match the stars and the baskets or you only want the stars? So that's something we have to look into it. But, um, I, you know, I'm going to put a little effort to it, figure it out and post it on our Instagram. So pay attention to it. Oh, next time I see you actually, let's do this. I'm going to tell you this next Friday because next Friday we launching all our kits. So I'm super, super excited for you guys. For now, we just have the bundle and we just have the two kits. This one, the Virginia star enjoy. And, um, so it's this quilt or we have the, uh, Christmas Creek that is right behind me. And I just want to tell you guys, this quilt is quite beautiful. It's not uh, very big because I want it from my couch, from my living room. I didn't want it something very long. So it's nice. It's almost a square, 62 by 63, I believe. 63, yeah, 63 by 62. But what I love about this is you can make this quilt bigger if you wanna. How? You just get longer panels and you get more of this yardage and you can make this wider if you want your quilt to be wider and still use those or maybe add another color into it. Can you imagine if there is a little green in it? So you can make this quilt a little bit different size if you want it. Oh, if you wanted to, putting that gorgeous floral border around it, wow, that would be amazing. And like I said, we have three gorgeous options for that border let me show you uh, this is the green the um, light and the red so those are quite lovely for our borders look at how nice they look with the collection do we have any other questions 
Um, you know what? I think that was it for right now, unless we have something else come in. Oh. I think everybody's so excited and they're busy running into the computers and going to our website because guess what? We have this joy collection, but don't forget we have a special on our book. That book that I showed you first, this one, Patches of Stars, it's on special this week. So go ahead, grab a book and we have a special on all our So Daisies, fabric markers and all the little goodies that you can add to your sewing box and enjoy it, especially before the summer starts and all your travel. That way you well prepare, have all everything ready, set, go. Any other questions, Erin? Um, actually, we did have one. Um, one that, more? Yep, we did. And it was in regards to um, the 4th of July challenge. And also I wanted to take a opportunity to mention to everyone in case you missed the newsletter, we did put that link on the blog. So you can upload, we've already had people upload some projects, so you can go and do that. I'll drop the link again in here. Um, I love that. For that so they can get it. But in regards to that, um, Thomas was wondering about um, the 4th of July challenge. Um, for the project size, the 20 inches, wondering does it have to be both sides 20 inches or can just one direction be 20 inches i i think both at least 20 inches both we have uh, already customers that are showing us bags and things like that so bags are and i think i'm gonna do a, a completely a new category for them when we choosing a winner between the bags but for quilts it needs to be 20 inches because it's the size of a pillow if if you can submit a pillow and anything bigger than that you are in okay but just remember put your best effort forward if you want to win some of those cool prizes because we will judge the quilts then we're gonna have some random prizes too but for the really awesome uh, quilts you're gonna want to submit something cool so keep working on it enjoy it but don't overthink if it's stopping you from joining us because your project is not big enough just add a little border around it and join us in I just want all of us to have so 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 much fun and make some fun patriotic quilt and uh, enjoy them for 4th of July Thank you so much for watching our show. It was my pleasure to share with you today our Joy Collection. Have a wonderful weekend and wish me good luck travel this weekend. I'm going to post some pictures from this awesome show that I'm going to it. I can't wait to share it with you. Happy quilting.